Hi, my friend. I'm so happy to be talking to you today about how to write a memoir, five books that can help you get started. I'm really excited about this because memoir is one of my favorite genres. I'm Kelly Notaris. I am the founder of KN Literary Arts. I'm also a book editor. I've been working in books for 20 years. I've worked at some of the biggest publishing companies in the United States, including HarperCollins, Penguin, uh, Sounds True. I've worked a lot for Hay House. And now I bring my wisdom directly to you on this YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe below. Okay, today I'm going to be talking to you about how to write a memoir. So many of my clients would like to know. I'm going to give you five of my favorite books to help you get started, plus a bonus tip at the end, so stay tuned. When you are writing a memoir, the most important thing you have to do is actually mine your own experience. And the books that I'm going to be presenting to you today teach you how to do exactly that. So let's get started. The very first book I want to talk about is Your Story by Joanne Fedler. This book, the subtitle I love, How to Write It So Others Will Want to Read It. Such an important thing because when you are writing a book, you know, sometimes you're writing it for your heart or your art and that's fine, but most of us are probably writing a book with the hopes that other people will want to read it. This is an excellent first step on your journey. I love this book because it is, it's all encapsulated in very short chapters. It, it really alternates between inspiration and really giving you permission to tell this story and also very practical advice for how to do it. Garnered from many, many years of writing many books, Joanne is a friend of mine. She's a Hay House author. She has written memoir for years. She has had major success with her memoir writing. And so she actually shows you how to do it. And what I love about it is that she really doesn't, she holds nothing back and she really shows you that you can do this too. She was not a spectacular success story when she got started writing her memoir. I'm not going to give it away, but she really tells the story in a beautiful way and she's very vulnerable about it. So this book actually not only teaches you through the lessons that she teaches you, but through her own story, which I love. So Your Story by Joanne Fedler, book number one. Book number two, Shimmering Images, A Handy Little Guide to Writing Memoir by Lisa Dale Norton. I love this book. There's a couple different reasons. One is very practical. It's tiny. It is easy to read. You are not going to need to spend five weeks plowing through this book. You are going to actually be able to read this book in probably one to two sittings. And honestly, the thing that I find the most important about this book, a lot of the books I'm recommending today have inspiration and they tell you why you can do it, how you can do it. But what I love about this book is the middle section where she actually walks you through the practical teaching she has been teaching for over 20 years to literally thousands of students. It is all in this book. And she's got several, just a handful of incredibly potent exercises that I recommend anyone who wants to write memoir do. So please buy this book. This is a really, really important one. Shimmer, Shimmering Images, A Handy Little Guide to Writing Memoir. Okay, that's book number two. Book number three. This book is a gem. Still Writing, The Perils and Pleasures of a Creative Life by Danny Shapiro. So this book is not specifically about how to write memoir. In fact, in a way, it is a memoir of Danny Shapiro's. She is, however, one of the most commercially successful memoirists writing today. And that is why this book is so important in my view. This book will teach you from the perspective of someone who has many best-selling memoirs how to write. It's not going to give you specific step-by-step -step instruction for memoir, but it's going to show you what it means to be a writer. And anyone who wants to write a full-length book needs to understand the, the perils and pleasures that come along with it. It's also just a beautifully written book. It is such a delight. I love this book so much. I highly, highly recommend it. Book number four. Okay. I'm just going to be honest out of all of these books. This one is my favorite. The Art of Memoir by Mary Carr. You might be familiar with the name Mary Carr. She's also been, just like Danny Shapiro, a major successful memoir writer of the last 20 years, um, actually the last 30 years. She wrote The Liar's Club, uh, Drinking a Love Story. She is truly one of the masters of the genre. She is also incredibly funny, incredibly wise. She's been teaching writing and memoir writing to students for many, many years. And this book truly is a masterpiece. I cannot tell you, I can't talk about it enough. I love it. I think anyone who wants to be writing memoir today, especially if you're writing it because you'd like 
to sell copies of it, this is a must read. You absolutely have to know what Mary has to say because she truly has, she's interviewed for this book, many of the most successful memoir writers of our time. So it's not just her wisdom, but it's actually uh, an accumulation of wisdom of all the people who are writing memoir and having it really, really work in the world. So definitely recommend The Art of Memoir by Mary Carr, one of my favorites. Number five, my own book, The Book You Were Born to Write. The reason why I'm recommending this book, other than the fact that, hey, it's my book, um, is also because unlike those four books that I just told you, this book talks to you about the publishing business and your options in terms of getting your book into the world. So the other books are specifically about the writing process. So important. You don't have a book if you don't you know, actually write it, but it's also really important to understand the bigger picture, how to market your book, how to create a, a hook that will have people just clamoring to read your story, and then also how to get it out into the world, whether you should try for traditional publishing, self-publishing, how, how to build a platform, Form, etc. So this book is really about the practicalities of how to get your book out into the world, plus some really good information about writing. It's not specific to memoir, but it is so applicable to anyone who is writing one. Okay, so those are my top five favorite books that will get you started in writing your memoir. And I want to give you my bonus tip. My bonus tip is to go to your local independent bookseller and ask the wonderful people who work there who are obviously lovers of books and also are watching the books that are selling every day, what are the memoirs that are selling the best right now? That will give you a lot of information about what the market is asking for. And it also will give you great inspiration because the thing is, many of the people who are writing successful memoirs today are just like you. They are not people who've necessarily had, you know, obviously there are celebrities and there are politicians and there are people who actually have a platform of that magnitude. But there are many, many first time authors that are doing really well with memoir. And you can find out about those memoirs by going and talking to the booksellers who are selling them every day. So that is my final tip. So there you have it, my five favorite books to help you when you want to know how to write a memoir. I would also love to hear from you. What are your favorite books on writing? What are the books that have helped you along the path already? Maybe they're about memoir, maybe they're not. I would love to know and so would the other people who are watching this video. So please comment below and let me know. I always read the comments and I always respond. All right, friends, I will be back with you very shortly with more videos about how to keep going on your writing journey. It's important to me that the book you were born to write gets into the world, and I hope I can help. In the meantime, happy writing.